Hey guys, uh, no prep today. Uh, I'm I'm just gonna wing it. <laughs> I uh, I had a really bad dream last night, and uh, I was in the upper room of a property. That I know, and uh, and in the dream there was this big monolith, like a this, this huge thing, right? That's the best way I can describe it. But it was like in a really bad state, just ready to blow, I guess, right? And then my little dog was running around crazy. Uh, his name's Mallow Dog. He's a good. He's the best dog ever. But he um, he was running around trying to warn me, and I felt that there was going to be a fire. And in the dream, uh, there was a like a, a light switch there, but it. The best way I can describe it is it looked like uh, it looked like what you see in the movies when they show the burning bush, you know, and it's kind of on fire but not. And there was a switch there. I don't know, but I, I lost my mom today. The the this is the one that I tell you about that I said the prayer for. And I want to say it was exactly 10 years ago that I said that prayer for her diabetes. She was actually on her deathbed. And her daughter, who I married, uh, she called me on the phone. And, you know, I could hear it in her voice that something was messed up. And I said, uh, I could tell, right? I said, what's wrong? Something's bothering you. And she said, my, my mom's in the hospital. They don't know if she's going to make it. And, uh, and I was like, you know, what the hell are you doing on the phone with me? But it was, it was probably about 11 at night. And uh, so visiting hours were done, obviously. But, but uh, I found out that she had 30 years of diabetes. And, uh, and that just... That really does bad things to your uh, to your body, and uh, but I remember praying with her. She well, she asked me. She said, "Will you pray for her?" People don't usually ask me to pray very often, but um, I said, "Yeah, we'll pray right now." And then I found out. Well, we found out that the hour that we prayed. Uh, her blood sugar that they couldn't get stabilized went down to normal levels and then it went too low and then they took her off all of her medication and then it, her levels came back up to normal levels and then uh, and then for like the next four days they just kept testing her over and over and over you know doctors all over test this check that to, and finally they released her only to say that you know we don't know what happened here but it's like your diabetes has been cured but you'll be back. And she hadn't taken any any medicine since then for diabetes. Uh, but she's uh, she hasn't been in the best of health though. Um, heart problems and uh, yeah, heart problems. But uh, I just I don't know. I love you guys, and I, I don't know what else to do. I don't have anybody around me to... I guess I would say that she's not mad at me anymore <laughs> I 
I don't think there's any angry people in heaven. She was a normal mother-in-law. So, there you go. mother that's something that uh, that's something that Jesus said to John this is your mother and this is your son and uh, I think that I think that Jesus and John I think they were like a different kind of team and that uh, John he, he preached a baptism of repentance but Jesus uh, he, John said that Jesus baptized by fire These two, uh, there's two different ways that God can call you to Him. Uh, one is through obedience. Is through suffering. And so I won. <clears throat> and one, you walk in the day. When you're walking in obedience, daytime you're walking where all of your deeds are exposed to light your deeds can be seen before men and so you've got physical support you have a uh, you have support of those around you to help you out but in Jesus case Jesus came to work as night was coming. And where John and repentance and obedience are things that we can do as works. At night, Jesus said that nobody works. And I like to say that no body works which is to say that during the day when we walk in accordance with the law um, we 
we kind of have more of a ability to talk to God, right? We can gain some, uh, maybe a, a sense of firm footing that we're doing the right things. But at night, uh, at night, that's when the moon is out. During the day, the great light, the sun. But during the night, it's about the moon. There's, um, there's an interesting structure when you think of the sun and the moon, because the sun is the greater light and the moon is the lesser light. But where the, you would think that the greater light would actually do something, it really doesn't. The greater light, even God, is just he just is. He's just there. It's the moon that actually changes. And helps even the earth to have life. We have life on our planet because of the moon. It's interesting even that the, the woman's blood cycle actually follows the moon. And the, uh, the woman, or the mother, uh, the mother of all creation is actually woman. A woman, uh, a woman and, and the way we were made uh, is that we have, uh, we have inside of us the ability to produce, to um, bear fruit. Each of us is like like a, a tree with potentially two different kinds of fruit on it, good or evil. But the choice that's inside of us is what determines what's going to come outside of us. And so when it talks about the seed of a woman It could be talking about Mary, but it also does talk about the seed that is within the man that comes from the woman that is in a man. And uh, So, God's Spirit and God is Spirit. And uh, the Lord does all things. The Lord Forms light.
what creates darkness. So we have these two very different things coming from the one. We have light, and we could even call this the sun. And then the darkness is the moon. Because it's God's Spirit that works through man. And remember, Adam, Adam was said that he, you know, he would lord it over you. So the Lord is also Adam. God's Spirit, when God's Spirit affects these two different things, you have a Son of God, And that's hard to imagine, but that's what it says. And it says, right after this, I, the Lord, do all these things. So just as peace and evil can come from the same source, The Lord has the ability to do those two very different things. Adam also means earth. <clears throat> so 
So if you can imagine how God designed our, uh, even our solar system. You have the, the sun at the center, and then you have the earth, which is the soil, and then you have the moon, which is actually the seed that will produce the life. But what I would say is, it is the earth that determines what kind of seed will grow. Because while this provides the choice of good or evil, ultimately, it is the earth, the Adam, that makes the choice on what to do because Adam is the Lord. So in that way, maybe you can understand why God said to Adam, because you listened to your wife. So Eve took of the fruit. And we want to say that that was when sin entered the world. But I would say that how we, we kind of can't blame Eve because she didn't know what good was against evil. She didn't know what evil was obviously as compared to good. Even her own comments were it's good for this, it's pleasing for that, it's good for this, 